Okay, so I've got it off. So you turn the key on and then you just depress the gas and it fires right up. Hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. We always have fun stuff here and I was driving my boat yesterday, but today I'm driving a different boat. Check this out. It's a 1955 Buick Roadmaster with a 322 cubic inch nail head V8. And yes, it's, it's currently warming up so I can drive it because I'm gonna get to drive this sucker. And it has four Venta ports on either side. Four meaning it's a Roadmaster, lesser Buicks. Only had three on either side. Look at that. 1955, got the blue and gold here, and then the gold and blue on the logo here, and then the gun sight on the hood. How cool is that? <laughs> the Dagmar bumpers, like on a Cadillac, you've got the 1950s wraparound windshield clap hand wipers. That's really cool. And then if I come inside here real quick, let's take a look at this interior. First off, we've got horn button. Let's uh, let's try it. <laughs> Boat horn. Uh, you've got a speedo that goes all the way up to 120 and this probably went over 100 fairly easily with that 5.3 liter engine. You can see we've got the heater. There's the fan switch and in winter or summer so you can get hot or cold air. Um, defroster and then auxiliary heater. Um, this is really cool. <laughs> I mean I've never driven a car this old. I guess are these ashtrays? Uh, it won't open. Is this one open? Oh yeah. So you've got driver and front passenger ashtrays. This one's just kind of stuck. But uh, obviously an AM radio, five push buttons, oh, bass. Wow, you can change the bass. Here's the speaker. The glove box here. If it'll want to open, maybe it's locked. Uh, and of course, there's nothing in this car that's padded. This is this is sheet metal up here. Um, and you can see the the old school. Prindle, except the R is at the end because they hadn't really standardized those yet. And you can see like the the plate here with the serial number and the giant hinges on this door, and then you've got <laughs> crank open vent windows. How cool is that? I'm gonna try the clap hand wipers real quick, see if they work. Um, no, the wipers don't seem to work. They're probably uh, vacuum operated. So maybe they just aren't functioning at the moment. But let's hop in the back real quick so you can check out what the back is like. Again, you've got acres of room back here. Really interesting carpeting. I don't know if, if this is accurate, but I'm pretty sure it is because this is a, like a 100-point car. Uh, nice strap here to hold on to because, of course, there's no seat belts. A huge ashtray. Nice fold-down armrest. Really interesting upholstery. This is like nylon, maybe, and then a vinyl. Of course, these, these windows open for more air. As you can see, this car does not have air conditioning, of course, although it would have been an option, and oddly not optioned with power windows, despite being a top-of-the-line Roadmaster. No electric windows in this. But what a cool, cool car this is. Oh, and then the other, the other fun part is how you start this car. Yes, there's a key. And yes, it, you turn it on there. But you turn it on, like in a modern car, where you have a push button. You have a push button in this car too, but it's actually the gas pedal. Let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so I've got it off. So you turn the key on, and then you just depress the gas, and it fires right up. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> you step on the gas to start the, to turn the starter over. It's amazing. All right, let me get y'all mounted up. Let's take this Buick for a boat ride. <laughs> Look, Ma, no seatbelts. So. Yeah, this this car you don't want to be in a wreck in this car that's for sure so let me go ahead and drop her down into drive there it has a two-speed dyna flow or dyna slosh transmission as they were called wow it's, it's definitely a boat wheel it does have power steering but <laughs> oh it sounds good wow there's a lot of there's, there's a lot going on with the steering wheel here i think i mentioned before this is my first time driving a car this old um so you're along for, for, the, for a real first. And not just me, but for y'all too. Like, this is, I mean, wow, it's, it's Bodie, that's for sure. <laughs> but it doesn't drive that badly. I mean, I'm only going, you know, like 30. Um, let's try the, the brakes. Yeah, they work. It's four wheel drums, of course, and you're slowing down this giant boat, and you're very aware of the fact that the steering wheel is like right here. <laughs> uh, V8 sounds good. 
It's basically 5.3 liters, so 322 cubic inch, and it's a nail head, which um, is what all Buick motors were until later on, I think in the um, around late 60s, early 70s, they switched away from the nail head, and that's just because of the way the, the heads were attached. They, they looked like they were nailed on, I believe, is, is how that goes, so turn signal. I don't hear anything clicking, and I don't see any lights on. Oh, something coming. Nice rumbly idle. Mmm, sounds so so good. Whoa, whoa! You really that that wheel really. I mean, and it's so close. It really, like you're all elbows when you're trying to trying to turn that wheel fast when you make a, a corner. <laughs> uh, it's it's like I'm doing this, and and we're still going straight too. It's definitely old school American uh, power steering there. What a cool car though. <laughs> I mean. I, I, you can probably tell I'm I'm, I'm grinning because this is this is just fun. You, you could definitely see like cruising cross country in this back when the interstates were first starting to be built in the mid 50s, and Eisenhower made it one of his, the keys of his administration. This was built to eat up those miles at 70. Um, I'm only wish the clap pan wipers would, would function because I love to get my uh, <laughs> my hub nut on and and do those cool wipers. But go full stop here at the stop sign. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Now, I just the other day filmed um, my video driving my Lincoln Town Car on the NASCAR racetrack, and I hit wide open throttle a couple times in the in the Town Car, and people were remarking how good that 4.6 liter V8 sounded, and it did. But this sounds better. <laughs> but this is something you're not going to hear every day. I, well, although Panther platform cars are slowly going the way of the Dodo Bird too, but when was the last time you saw? A 1955 Buick Roadmaster with as many as four Ventiports on either side. Uh, this is a really nice car. There's a few little things that need to be done. Uh, some things that need to be re-chromed on the exterior. But otherwise, this thing is pretty mint considering the fact that it's, what, 66 years old now? Mm, sounds good. <laughs> Boulevard cruiser, highway cruiser, all the gauges are looking good. Not overheating or anything like that, which is nice. And it's just big, lazy, comfortable car to drive in. And you could easily take eight people to go get ice cream in this. Now, if you want to actually eat the ice cream in here and get it on, I bet this upholstery, uh, this upholstery is definitely synthetic. The ice cream would probably come right out of it. I don't think that would be a problem. Um, ashtrays for everyone. And enough headroom to wear your hat, because of course in the 50s everybody, every man had to wear a hat, and every woman wore a hat too, I guess, but uh, that was just the style back then, but even if this thing had a sunroof, there would be plenty of headroom. <laughs> mm. Boating along. This is on bias ply tires, of course, the, the big heavy white walls, and pull back in here. Uh, again, I, I've got, you know, a limited amount of time with this car, so I wanted to, to make a nice video just to show y'all what it's like, but what a fun ride this is. I would definitely drive this again. I, I want to drive it again just for the cool starter pedal position. Um, like, <laughs> this is just really cool. This is why I love making these videos. I get to experience all this fun stuff that I would not have gotten to do otherwise. This is a cool ride. So you lift up here to open the door, and you can see there's engine turned metal there, nice padded armrest actually. No map pockets or anything, but a lot of different finishes. I mean, you've got the vinyl here, you've got metal that, more steel, and then this metal at the bottom. And you can see the that they've actually painted the wheels red, which is kind of cool. Let me try the trunk here. You can see there's, there's these cool handles to pick it up. I just want to see, because there's a car cover in there, how big it is. So yeah, it looks like it's probably missing the original um, liner, but it's massive. Jacking instructions when you would actually hook it up to the bumper. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about earlier. There's some pitting in some of the chrome, but hey, what do you expect? Hey, can't that train be quiet? That's what I was talking about. Just some re-chroming necessary here, but I mean, there's chrome everywhere. It cost literally thousands of dollars to re-chrome this car. Um, I mean, then there's just emblems everywhere. What is this, like a... Is that a dog or a deer or something and a plus? I don't know. Um, if you know what that emblem means, please comment below because I have no clue. Also, what I thought was cool is the key. It's, it's tiny. Um, I guess 
I expected it to be like the old GM keys that the square for the ignition and the round for the doors, but that came later, of course. Um, and this just seems to be one key for everything, which is actually better. Well, yeah, I'm glad you got to come along on this ride in 1955 Buick Roadmaster sedan. <laughs> I'm still grinning ear to ear. Uh, this is this is a fun car. This is a fun day, and yeah. Stay tuned for more Doug's cars. More fun stuff coming your way soon. And please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Because who knows what I'm going to drive next. I mean, I know what I'm going to drive next. But you don't know. So you got to hit subscribe to find out. Thanks for watching. I'll park me in the garage, Jeeves.